Hi, I'm Karen Sutherby, and this is five must have accessories you need in your camera bag. Right, straight into it, no mess the belt because it's, um, it's boiling hot today and I want to be outside. I'm actually uh, sat doing this video in my boxer shorts. But yeah, straight into it. Item number one is dry sack. Now, I don't care what the camera bags say they are, if they're water resistant or waterproof, you know, I'm not quite buying it. On our way down from Snowdon, um, the rain managed to get through Becker's water resistant bag with the waterproof cover on top and there's nothing worse than breaking your gear. I've done it recently and I've had to buy a new camera. So one of these for the sake of £5, £6, you can put all your gear in and it's bulletproof. You know, it's just worth it just to protect your gear. Accessory number two is a mini tripod. This one here. My mic's not normally in frame but I just thought so you could see it. I'll do another little video up close of it. Um, cost about £10, it's got like a little ball head on it. And my main tripod only goes down to about a foot, so if you wanted to get a little bit further close to the ground, they're perfect. And it's just always in my camera bag. I've maybe used it three or four times to get a shot, but it's just worth having it because I wouldn't have got them shots otherwise. So yeah, mini tripod. Accessories number three is filters. So I've got one on the camera at the minute, that's a UV filter and that just protects the lens from any damage and they're cheap so you know if you do get any scratches or anything it's just on the filter and not on the lens itself. Number two is a polarising filter um, and these, these twists to cut out different amounts of light, cut out the reflections that the sun make and they give you more contrast and more colour and they also take the glare off the top of water so they're really handy. We've also got the ND filter here. Um, so this gives you your long exposures, your milky water, or like a lot of movement in your clouds. Uh, it costs about 50 quid, but um, you can kind of get around long exposures without an ND filter. I did it for a long time, probably about six months, and um, Chris has done a video recently, which I'll leave a link up here somewhere. It's worth checking out. But if you do have the money, yeah, about 50 quid. Number four is a car charger. So imagine you're bombing it down the M62, you get halfway towards your destination and you realise you didn't charge your batteries. Like, there's nothing worse. Um, so yeah, you just plug it in and away you go. Um, speaks for itself, really. Number five is extra SD cards and something to put them in. You should always have extra cards just in case yours breaks or you lose it or whatever and also so much to protect them in because they're just flimsy little bits of plastic you know if you leave them lying on your bag you could easily break them um, and apparently this one is is uh, water resistant I won't trust that um, and you can also run it over and it will be all right according to Amazon but it was five quid you know just it stops them just rattling around in my bag and yeah it's a place I can store them just another couple of things, so I'm going over my five again, but um, torch, just to get you to and from your locations, um, help you light something up if it's dark and you're trying to focus, um, and yeah, if you lose anything, like I've, I've lost my car key before and had to retrace my steps, and I wouldn't have found it without the torch, so yeah, always handy, a little battery torch. But also a shutter release, I've said before, I think that was like, three, four pound off the Wish app. And um, you know, if you're doing like long exposures and you don't want to be touching your camera, you can just use this. And it, they're just that cheap. I almost forgot the most important one of all. My little lucky Ganesh, Becca brought you back from India. Yeah, it goes everywhere with me. Brings me, uh, brings me the good weather. I hope you found them accessories useful. Um, let me know what you carry in your bag that you wouldn't go without in the comments below. Uh, be sure to check out David's channel and his, his five accessories. Um, there's some really good ones on there. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. That'd be great. Um, next week, like I said, I'll do a video on my new camera, uh, which I'm recording in 4K. Ooh. Um, yeah, until then, stay safe and I'll see you soon.